click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends welcome back to the subject of machine design one we are in the model number four where in the last session we have seen what is the stress concentration factor and what are the factors which are getting affected due to it and what are the factors we can implement so as to reduce it in today's session we are going to look at a numerical we'll solve the numerical where we will try to find out the stress correction factor for the given case so that the actual stress that is going to be acted on that particular material can be evaluated so let us begin with it students you can see the numerical statement and the problem statement on the screen they have given us a plate and it says that for the given plate of grey cast iron with its material property given it's the ultimate stress value with factor of 52.5 we need to determine the thickness for the load shown so that it will not fail in fluctuating loads so that is what the actual problem statement is so basically this particular plate is undergoing the cyclic load and that's why it will fail before the actual estimated value of stress or strength now there are two factors responsible which we are going to discuss in this let's write down the given data first we have been given the value of p is 5 kilo newton that is basically 5000 newton we have been given the larger diameter d is equal to 45 and the smaller diameter d equal to 30 both in millimeter we also have been given the diameter of hole as 15 we have been given the radius for the fillet is equal to 5 millimeter and we need to evaluate thickness t when factor of safety given is 2.5 and ultimate value of stress is equal to 720 megapascal which is nothing but newton per millimeter square so like i was discussing these are the two important areas where variation of area is happening so this is the first region where the change is happening and this is the second region where the change is happening so let us name them area of hole and area of fillet so we need to consider these two areas because the stress concentration is going to take place only in this area because for all rest of the areas or rest of the regions area of cross section is uniform so let us analyze them separately so as we look at the fillet section we know that the nominal stress will be given by p divided by d by t because that is the smallest diameter that is available or smallest width that is available so if we substitute the values of 5000 divided by small diameter which is given 30 and t is unknown the nominal thickness actually becomes So this is what the expected value of stress that will occur in this particular member. Now let us find out the stress concentration factor for the given case. Now you can always refer to the chart used in the design data book for finding out stress concentration factor for a plate which is loaded in tension. For such case the ratio d by d is very important which in our case which makes it one point five similarly the ratio of fillet radius to the small dimension d which is thirty in our case comes out to be which is somewhere around Now using these two ratios we are going to evaluate the kt factor before that let us switch our role to the whole section in whole section the nominal stress value will be given by this particular formula where d is the diameter of the hole so let me mention diameter of hole here if i substitute the value of 5000 divided by 
the larger width in our case is 45 minus diameter of hole becomes 15 into thickness and therefore nominal diameter in this case becomes the value is actually 30 because that is the smallest value we have this was the largest value the actual value is 30 so in that case this ratio becomes equation 2 now we can find out this trace correction factor for this whole section also where d by w ratio is very important so in that case this is the diameter of hole and this is the smallest width that we have which is 30 stress correction factor becomes 0.5 let's move ahead now for the fillet section in order to find out kt let us refer to the chart which is available for stress concentration factor in design data book where for the value d by small d and r by small d are found out so based on that particular chart the value of kt obtained is somewhere around 1.8 again using similar chart for the plate which we have r by d ratio r by w ratio equal to 1.67 we get kt is somewhere around 2.8 one six now we know that the maximum stress that will induce will be given by this stress correction factor and that's why in this case it becomes 1.8 into the nominal stress induced in the fillet region which was and the stress in this case becomes now it is very clear that among these two regions the stress induced in the fillet region has the higher value and that's why it becomes the maximum stress occurs is 1.8 times 500 divided by 3t which if we value it becomes 3 is the unknown which is the thickness that we need to find out now we also know that the maximum stress maximum ultimate stress is given and factor of safety is also given so that sigma safe will be given by sigma ut divided by factor of safety if we substitute the values of sigma ut which is 720 divided by 2.5 so whatever the value comes out i can definitely apply that value here so that the safe value will be the maximum value that i can consider and therefore 720 by 2.5 will be equal to 300 divided by t after solving this relation we get thickness t is equal to 9 millimeter so there we conclude that the thickness which is required to sustain these values is 9 millimeter so this was from my side in this numerical where based on the two regions we have found out a more prone area to the failure and for that region we have found out thickness so that if the thickness is 9 millimeter the answer for both is going to be same in next session we are going to look at numerical number 2 where with another example we will try to find out the stress concentration factor and using it we will go for some safe design. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.